head, which you saw in that room maybe, mm -hmm. the yellow star which we had to put on, on our clothes right. to make a difference. Exactly. You and I, we have a difference. People look at us and they know. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. Mm -hmm. And then this tattoo meant, which you know from history, that not only did they shaved us, took our hair and made us naked, but they took our identity completely that we were no longer names, only numbers. Wow. And that's this tattoo, so that when you have the picture, you can explain what it means. Right. Because I am joking with her, because she's got all these beautiful tattoos on her, and I says, you know, yours is a totally different kind. I invite you to take a journey of freedom with me. Yeah. Freedom. I'll be a guide. I'll be a guide. Kingdom activist. Jovan Dangerfield. Yeah. Sometimes known as Joe Danger. Rock, rock, rock with me. Rock with me. I'm free. Like a fish out to sea. My bond has been paid. Ain't no chains holding me. Cause I'm free. If you don't know what that means, then you never seen Jovan when he was sipping codeine. Yes. That's me. <laughs> Jovan Dangerfield, Kingdom Activist. What all goes into being a Kingdom Activist anyway? I mean, you hear the mixtape, but what happens behind the scenes? What's the buildup? You know, what am I really doing? What is this freedom movement all about? What does freedom mean to you? I know what it means to me. I'm going to take you behind the scenes a bit so you can see how we get there. So if you come with me, we can take this journey together. First stop, the studio. Like, you know, done beats probably since the 90s, you know. Yeah, yeah, 90s. yeah. And then I, um, I, I, I stopped. And even, every time I stopped, it seemed like God would come and just be like, why are you stopping? But uh, but to me in my mind I'm like it's not it's not producing any fruit you know you yeah. have tracks just sitting all on your computer and just like yeah. you know why am I doing this and yeah. so this last time um, you know me and my wife we were we're from Los Angeles yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and we uh, and we you know I I got a, I left my job I was doing I had a really nice graphic design job and I I didn't know I was coming out to Bakersfield at all wow. and. I said, you know, I said, one thing that people say that you need to do is you need to do it 100%. Yeah. And so oh. I left my job and I said, you know, I'm going to jump out in favor of doing 100%. And I started going really, really hard. But, you know, in L.A. it's a different crowd. In yeah. L.A. it's a different, it's you know. A it's, it's a It's a grind. But I was, I was kind of like the, the type of, of, I just wasn't. It, it was definitely world. The environment, you know I mean? yeah. The environment was just yeah, like yeah, yeah, world. Yeah. And I was going to this other, this other. I was hanging around a group of people that were kind of like, you know, uh, where they had they were Christian, but then they were, you know, mm. kind of doing other stuff. And Sounds like things are going pretty good in the studio. So it's time for me to move on. I got people to touch. So I ran a contest on Facebook to see who could get the most likes. Whoever won that contest could come to my house and hear the mixtape. I We got a winner. Man, I'm crazy excited right now, like for real. Like I'm juice. Uh, about to call Heather, the winner of the social media contest, uh, the like contest, whoever wins gets to come over. You know, we get to chill with them, build a relationship with them, talk to them. Um, we give them a sneak peek of the entire mixtape and uh, the PSA video. Let them see it first, get their feedback. Um, and then we also got them gifts, you know. So, um, you know, what is in here? There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's like a devotional and some candles and just some real cute stuff. She's a girl, so my wife went out and got this stuff for her. Um... And I'm just super juiced because, uh, you know, we really wouldn't be able to do none of this stuff would mean nothing if we didn't have anybody supporting us, if we didn't have anybody watching it, if we didn't have anybody, um, you know, contributing, whether it be time, talent, money, whatever it is, uh, 
if it wasn't for them people, we wouldn't even be like having an opportunity to do none of this. So people like had to really make the movement. So I'm just really juiced. So we're about to call it right quick. All right. Oh my God, I'm so juiced. We're gonna call her. Okay. All right, so we're about to call her. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello? Heather, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, well, I just want to let you know how excited we are. Um, and, you know, congratulations. And we just uh, thank God for you and, uh, you know, people like you that are kingdom minded and support great causes. And we just appreciate everything. Um, you know, that you've attributed to support or anything like that. We just want to let you know that we really appreciate it. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Oh, well, man, you know, you're welcome. Um, and I just want to set you up for tomorrow because we're going to come through. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to give you the entire sneak peek of the PSA video um, and the entire sneak peek. Yeah, yeah. And the entire, <laughs> the entire sneak peek of the mixtape. Uh, which I will plug you up and have you here um, and just kind of, uh, we got a little gift for you. So we're going to give that to you too when you come and just spend some time with me and wifey, man, just talking, uh, you know, find out what you're doing right now and how we can make it better um, or, or help it or any, you know, input anything, you know, uh, whatever it is and kind of just really get to, you know, know you better and meet you more. You know what I mean? Me too. <laughs> Me too. So, uh, I, yeah, no, thank God for you and people like you, man. Um, just just can't wait. So um, we're going to be, what, at 630, right? We can do 630, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so between 630 and 645, um, just let me know when you come in. Um, I will text you all the information uh, so you can know where we're at. And then just come through. We'll be ready for you. Uh, and we just look forward to, you know, meeting you, loving on you, and just appreciate you, all right? No, thank you. This means a lot to us. So thank you so much, man. We'll talk to you soon, all right? All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God, that's so dope. Teach the gospel, preach the gospel. What is it? You know, I haven't really figured that one out yet. Okay. It's uh, just one step at a time right now. I'm still uncovering exactly what I'm able to do because I'll I'll volunteer in the children's ministry. Okay. And I'll either babysit like the little little ones, or last week I actually got uh, I'll say six to it's supposed to be six to eleven, but I don't think there was anybody over eight. Oh, yeah. And okay. so. Holding the attention span right there and mm -hmm. teaching, I don't know if that's something that I'm meant to do, okay. but motivating and encouraging another person, you know, that's definitely something that I love to do because I go to NA, Narcotics Anonymous, and oh. I, so I'm of service there, and so when I share, it's experience, strength, and hope, which I do share my story, but I also like to encourage and motivate you know, just kind of build up someone else along the way. Like, that will listen to a lot of things, like a certain CD, just all of them down. I gotta, like, keep switching, playing different things. That I can listen to all the way through and I'm good. Ah! <laughs> I'm good. I love it. Yeah! Fantastic. Yeah! But she said that freedom from addiction touched her the most, the song. That's awesome. 
So you related to it. I did. You know, when I was stuck into it, when I got into my addiction, you know, it started off slowly. It's a progressive thing. Right. And uh, after a while, you know, it just started going every day. Like, I don't even know, but I stayed high all day, every day, meth and weed. You know, I'd be up, and I got two up, and then I'd have to smoke some weed to be brought down, and then I'd go two down. It was just like a never-ending battle, and then everything around me, you know, people, places, and things, I just felt like, number one, I felt completely alone. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I just had so much self-hate. You know, I was in so much pain with my the marriage that I was in, the abuse that I was taking, the neglect that I felt. Hopefully... Mm -hmm. When you start dreaming those dreams, you oh write them down. That is like perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Oh my God. This, I'm going to fail this and I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to show you. Please. She was cool. She was cool. Yeah. yeah. I think the best part about everything is the people, the relationships being yeah. built, um, yeah. being able to touch them and yeah. being able to talk and relate i love that part that's my yeah. favorite part and that is that's the best part because like music is going to change music is going to fade away you know talents are going to come and go and seasons are going to come but you know that core touching those folks that's dope yeah dope yeah. she was encouraged yeah just to be over here yeah you know kicking it with nobodies right like us <laughs> like we some you know like we ain't nothing right you know, so just the fact that, and then she shared with us her kids. Mm -hmm. And it never gets old, like meeting people and loving on them. It never gets old. No, it it's doesn't. just like it's exciting, and you want to almost follow them out the door. Like, yeah, what else can I get? What yeah, else yeah, can yeah, I share yeah, with yeah, you? yeah, 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 yeah. Making friends. Yeah. yeah. Man, this is crazy. So. We're on our way to Highland. We're gonna spit in front of these, in front of these youth. Encourage them. My partner about to do this. It's activist. Um, I think it's crazy because every time you get to go meet these people you don't know, you really don't know how they're gonna receive you. You really don't know how they're gonna be. You really don't know, you know, what kind of environment I'm about to encounter. But I guess this is just a part of it. You know, going up here. You know, evangelizing, using these talents, using these gifts to win these people. Every school, every college, every church, every, you know, arena we go into, it's like we never know what to expect. But I'm just juiced about this because I feel like maybe somebody will be touched. Maybe we'll help somebody. We're definitely going to further the movement, give out some flyers, show some love, do some promo. So I think this is pretty dope. I'm juiced. How about you? I'm excited. Juice! <laughs> Let's go! Go from here to the door. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so we made it. We at Highland, we're about to kill. Um, I'm a little nervous because I don't even know the words to my new songs yet, um, but I think it's gonna work out fine. So we're about to go up in here and see what we can accomplish. So let's go. Okay. Yeah, I, got six more I told you yesterday. They here. Bianca. They here. They here. So, what is being a what does kingdom activist mean to you? What is being a kingdom activist to you? Um, well, it means just getting not only young but older folks' attention about things that we do, you know, for God and um, how we move in God and how we, you know, we want to reach out to the community and let people that don't know about God, you know, um, just talk to them and uh, preach and just, you know, have a good time in the Lord. You know one of these kids down here to lay a beat? Dude, that would be so much fun. I like would. Death. Lay a beat? I mean, that's improvising. Are we ready to improvise at that level? Right I'm now? ready. Remember that time we had the guitar guy in the box and lives at North? Hey, is there like a second like microphone? Let's get a second like that. Who can beatbox? Quincy. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna get you a second microphone. You're gonna beatbox while our homeboy raps. All right. Well, why is he rapping? <laughs> For the kingdom. For the kingdom, man. Kingdom activists. <laughs> If you want, you could just get on the mic and just like start visiting with them and be like, what's up? Come in. Okay. We're getting the music to work right now. 
and let's be like silly. This is Micah, you got everybody. This is Micah. Micah. She's dope. Every time that we have Joe on, I'm Micah, yeah. <laughs> we always try to torture him and <laughs> get everything ready for him. We throw a curveball at him. And this is the curveball. We have him do acapella. Beatboxing. Beatboxing. <laughs> yeah, I'll beatbox for you. <laughs> What's up? Is everybody happy to be here today? Is everybody happy to be here today? I'm gonna go around something for you. Ready? I'm free. Like a fish out to sea. My brother's been paid. It'll change everything to me because I'm free. But if you don't know what that means, then you never see your love with you. Thank you, everybody. I just came out to give you some bars today. So if you appreciate the bar, put your hands together. If you appreciate the bar, put your hands together. And say I'm free! Uh, yo. For you, know what does freedom mean? I think freedom means having those dreams, you know, just being set free. Um, all depression is gone, all loss is gone. You know, just like, um, just having the ability to praise Jesus and just to be in his presence and share the love of God and having no change, that's freedom. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> Ask her now. Oh All right, what does freedom mean to you? Freedom means to be being set free, happy, no negativity in your life, and just praising God. Come on now, amen. amen. You're preaching. Woo. Tell him to get the mixtape. Tell him on the camera. Get the mixtape. Get the mixtape. The first of ne uh, next year. Get it. Get it. Mixtape. I would definitely call what we did here a success. Some kids even got baptized. This is dope. I got work to do. Got to get to Charles Spotwood House. We can go over the skits. So, uh, you know, how long you been doing this, man? How long you been doing this? How long you been at this for? You know, I've been doing skits for a minute. I've been doing it ever since I was like 12 years old. Okay. Um, in purity class, when I was growing up, I wrote skits for competitions. Okay. Uh, church functions. And I got an opportunity to write a skit because my first lady said, oh, you need somebody to write a skit, who do it? And I did. And we won year after year after year. Wow. So I'm like, okay, I can do it. Yeah. All right, so then I've been doing it for a while, but it's been awesome. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing just for like what, 12 years old. 12 years old? So did that blossom into like the, the miming, the dancing, the drama, yeah. the plays? It, it, it blossomed because um, when I write, I see, other, I see images of different things, not just straight play. Like yeah. I, I hear things like uh, different sounds I want incorporated in things that I, I see this vision like okay so I try to praise dance and I want to do miming and all this acting and basically it just flourished from there it's just like uh, God kept did you always want to use those gifts for the kingdom or how, how did that kind of how I, did that come into it you it, know, I, I for God for God it, it always has been I think it, it, it came from growing up in the church sure. what's your whole uh you know, what do you bring to the movement? What do you bring to the, you know, the whole thing? You know, what do you do? What I do in the Kingdom Activist is I, I'm the fine arts portion of it. Um, it's a crazy concept. We have rap, and I don't know if it'll be done, and you have fine arts. Yeah. And they're both Christian. They're yeah. both, you know, both part of the people are yeah. ministers too. Yeah, so you, put, you put all in preachers and preach the gospel. You put a rap and fine arts, and you merge them. Yeah, and you get something that's that's out of this world. Yeah. So on my aspect is I, I create the visuals. I do the skits um, on the album. I produce the skits on the album. The voices. I get the actors together. I put it all. Basically, I put skit on the album. Uh, if we go to church services. Um, before Javon comes up, you know, you come up rapping, I'll try to set the the mood, uh, the, the images or the skit to introduce what you're about to spit on. So it's like, mm -hmm. it always go hand, it always go hand in hand. Yeah. And, it, it and what about on the, on the music? On the music, it's the same thing uh, on, on the album where you, if you're doing a rap song, it's like, I always try to set, set it up to get people understanding what the whole thing is about. Yeah. Because some people, when they hear rap, they either go straight to it, but when you add a skit to it yeah. and performance art with it, everybody could, could relate to a situation. We have this thing called life that we all experience, and so when I do a skit, or whatever, I try to bring life problems. So when the when the ministry comes up as a form of rapping, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. So it just all it goes like just 
it's something that's phenomenal, and that's what that's the recipe that's been working, and people have been being delivered and set yeah. free. Oh yeah, and the word is spreading. They're killing them, man. I'm telling you, killing it's, yeah, it's awesome. So, to you, Charles Spot with the minister, the father, the fine arts director, the the visionary, the director, the man among men, G of R G. Uh, yeah, hey, 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 to the to the guy, man. what is freedom? What is freedom to you, man? I did. I, freedom is not being bound or restrained. Um, I compare it to I compare it to like I said, like water. You in the water, you can't breathe. You try to hold your breath for a long time playing games with a little kid, and you you get out the water, you, you start breathing better. Freedom is. Be able to to live how God wants you to live, and be able to not be struck, not be able to be held down, uh, not be able to uh, be suppressed. So you have uh, kingdom activists. We are coming against those that are bound, that feel like they cannot move, they cannot be um, uh, uh, busy in a church setting as they feel like that they're doing here. They go to church and the same thing, same thing, and their life is crumbling. We are we are came to say, you know what? There's another way. Take out the take out the rules of religion and get that relationship with God. Yeah. We're 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 coming against form of a form of godliness. People. That denies the power. We, exactly. We're coming yeah. against mindsets, certain yeah. mindsets. We're coming against the same uh, church. Um, not saying church is bad, but sometimes the structure is so much where you forget that it's all about relationship. So kingdom activists, we're trying to get people that whatever you're doing. If you're doing uh, selling bean pies for five for two dollars, you got a scripture on them. That can be used for the kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Janitors. Whatever, I mean, you can do jump rope. I'm jumping yeah. for Jesus. No, yeah. Yeah. whatever it is to bring whatever God the glory. Yeah. yeah. Bring Him the glory, and every every person that He created, He's given a talent. Like a boyfriend or girlfriend, you have ups and downs. You know what? You're like the black saved Montel. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What is that? He said the black <laughs> saved Montel. No. <laughs> no, no, he said, oh, you got the bald head, bald heads all glistening on. No, because it was deep, it was deep. Like, I was really like, like, I really like, forgot I was saved, wanted to change my life, and I'm like, oh, I already did, but no. <laughs> you already did. No, no, no. You stupid. <laughs> you know what, the last part of this is that, man, this is fun. It is. It is seeing people change, seeing people, yeah. people think like, well, you're Christian, so it's like, can y'all have, can y'all have, you, yeah, can you yeah. have fun? Right. right. <laughs> can you have fun, you serve yeah. Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you serve Jesus, can you have fun? And this, yeah. this opened the door, like, yeah, we can have fun, yeah, yeah we with it. Yeah. Well, there's a purpose. Yeah. We come to territory, and God gave us dominion, let's, let's go. That's my wow. Well, as you can imagine, there's a lot more work to be done. And when I think about these people, all these beautiful people, partners, teammates, teens, it just tells me why I got to do this. Even Mary taught me the truth, like, of what freedom really is. And all that we've been through, and all that we went through to get here, Mixtape after mixtape. We finally here. So go ahead and try it. Freedom is free. Subtract my abilities to not be a fiend. I couldn't keep my nose clean. Recognizing others' problems, but the problem was me. All that baby mama drama business all on the street. Cause I'm a free man. Dismantle demons and people demand. We compete like we making deep end, but I delete them.